Welcome to Exchange Rates UK TV. It is the 23rd of June, 2021. Taking a look at Bitcoin here real quick. So we had that, you know, obviously we've had a big drop. Then yesterday we saw it even drop further, but then we had a nice rally, a pretty bullish candlestick that showed up. However, let's look at the follow through volume today because there's another 45 minutes before this daily candlestick closes and we're not seeing a lot of follow through. Also, I want to call your attention to the volume profile on the left. So this is measuring the volume traded since the beginning of 2021. And the volume point of control should be of no surprise because that's where we spent a good chunk of time in January to February, early February, and then where we're at right now. And we're trading below that point of control and there's some pretty tough resistance here with the Tenkinsen and the Kijinsen. In fact, those two levels have been where uh, we've seen prices get halted. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, because we don't see a lot of follow through here with the volume, it can mean a couple things. It can mean that uh, uh, buying is, has dried up and that we've just kind of had a sucker's rally, relief rally, and that you know shorts were just taking profit. Or it's just a broad sign of, in, uh, of uh, indecision. It, this is most definitely on the weak side of the reading because the, the current close, if it closes around here, then that's really not great because we're closing, you know, below 50% of the entire range that has been traded for the day. And, you know, we're, we're, we're getting close to a zone where we, you know, pretty much opened up if, if it can push down any further. Looking at the oscillators, though, I got to tell you, there's some shared, um, shared troughs between the percent B and the RSI. Uh, but, I'm a little leery about how <laughs> the the uh, oof, the RSI, if it prints a higher high than the than the than the level here in this candlestick, if the RSI makes a higher high than this level, and there is not a corresponding high on the price chart, that's hidden bearish divergence, and that is a very 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 yucky thing for bulls because that's just a sign that we're going to continue lower. Um, again, everything on this chart, Ichimoku wise on the daily chart is primed to, to, to continue with the short side of the market and for selling pressure, because I mean, all the conditions are right for it. Span A is below B, uh, price is below the cloud. It's below the tank and send the kitchen send, uh, and the lagging span is below the candlesticks and an open space. So the momentum here remains very much to the downside, something we're going to have to watch closely. Uh, I think on Thursday and Friday, we'll get a little bit more clear read going into it. But otherwise, that does it for me, folks, on Bitcoin. Thank you for watching. From all of us here at Exchange Rates UK TV, please don't forget to like and subscribe.